Hey guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bella's Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. Who cares about the clouds when we're together? Just sing a song and bring the sunny weather. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Hi guys, welcome to Bell's Bargains. That was like a goodbye song, but I'm just starting the video. What? All right. Hey, listen, today is another challenge. It's a challenge video. So those of you who've never been to my channel just tuned in and went, wait, what? What? Anyway, this is a crafter stash challenge. But before we get into that, I think everybody should know this channel is Dollar Tree, 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 only DT on this channel. So what does that mean? It just means that everything that I get and everything that I create, like behind me here for Easter, all comes from the Dollar Tree, my supplies and the crafts themselves, meaning the, you know, the basics. All right, so let's dive in. I want to tell you about this. By the way, that song... So Roy Rogers, Dale Evans, right? We all know that. We all know it by them. But, because I'm on an old cowboy kick, like, I guess because of Hopping Down the Bunny Trail by Gene Autry. But then I saw my sign there, which says right there, or right there, which says Bunny Trail Farms, and it made me think of Happy Trails, hence the song. But when I looked it up, really interesting tidbit. Guess who else recorded that song? You'll never guess it. Just look it up. Van Halen, and it's actually pretty good. Okay, so there's my little music trivia for the day. But like, wait, now my iPad closed on me. Wake up, iPad, wake up. Let me tell you about the challenge today. It's craft your stash, which is hysterical because of course that's what I have been doing as all my besties know. So let's talk about this. Oh no, turn. The hosts today are The Rusted Willow and Our Gray House. I love both these channels. And I don't say that unless I actually do. So those will be linked down below in my description box. A special thank you to those ladies for hosting this challenge. It takes a lot of work. I've never done one. Don't know if I'll ever be smart enough to do a challenge because then I'd have to like watch YouTube channels on how to do it, you know? Yeah, anyway. All right, so let's jump forward. So I have been, let me put this down. I've been totally crafting my stash. So this was perfect for me. So what I did was I have been going into my holiday stuff for each holiday and trying not to buy anything new. I mean, this sign right there, I did buy that this year. And actually, one thing that is part of one of my crafts today, I did buy this year. But the rest of it was all out of my Easter box that I pulled out and was like, come on, I gotta start crafting it. So I'm gonna start with actually probably what is my favorite. No, nope. they're all my favorites today. I gotta say, I love each and every one of these. I just think they came out so cool. So let's just start in the order. I'll do them in the order that I did them. So this first one is so adorable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so if you don't remember, this sign would have been inside the middle of, I should have brought it in to show you guys. Oh, it's on the video when I'm making it. So you'll see it there. Hey, while we're talking about that, how about I just show you how I made it?
was the original sign right there. And I'd already removed the first one, so now I'm taking the second one on the off to be the back side. And I just thought they looked ugly on those plaid, I don't even know, whatever, signs. Um, but I loved the graphics, and so this seemed like a perfect thing to do with it. So there was glue on the back of this, and the reason I was trying to get that off is so there wouldn't be a gap. Now, here's where I got clever about how to put it on this sign. So I'm making sure that that's in the middle, and I'm gluing down a popsicle stick. And now I'm going to glue the two signs together. And I know I'm going to have to clamp them because the popsicle stick obviously is, takes up space in there, right? So I need these to sort of form around the popsicle stick and, and glue together. So I did that, and I left it like overnight. I did leave that to glue for a long, long time. Then came out, and perfection! It worked exactly how I wanted to. So just taking a black Sharpie and going to Sharpie the sides so that it just finishes off the sides of this sign perfectly. And then Sharpie my Popsicle stick. In the end, it doesn't show at all, but I wasn't sure. And now I'm going to get to putting this together on the stand. So those are two Tumbling Tower blocks, which I already had painted black. And I've wedged them in there and stuck a bunch of hot glue, and I'm letting that dry. Now I'm painting a the largest bead I could find I'm painting black while that glue there dries. Nope, maybe now I'm putting the glue in. Okay, backwards. It doesn't matter. So <laughs> I'm going to say, oh, no, I just added more glue. That's what it was. So now I'm measuring my popsicle stick so that that goes in there and sits right on top of those tumbling tower blocks, a bunch of glue, and boom, we are in. Pretty good. I mean, that it's so steady and stable. So this is um, plant liner, the coconut stuff, coconut skin fiber. I don't know what you would call it. I just like the color of this, and it is easier for me to stick um, picks into it, and it will hold it because it's so um, firm, and it doesn't, like Spanish moss wouldn't have worked because it would break away, so this doesn't. And now I've just gotten a bunch of picks and the colors that I wanted. I was looking for that sort of farmhouse um, color in my picks, and I'm just, it's personal preference here on how you do it. So you can watch the rest of it while I throw these in. And um, then I'm going to glue, the last thing I'm going to do is glue the bead on top. And that's where I add a thumbtack to the top of it. But you'll see. So anyway, you can finish watching me throw these in. I love this one. I thought it was very clever how I attached this to the stand 
absolutely love this. And I think that the florals on here just, I think this is so pretty. Farmhouse chic is what I would call this. And it's double sided. Yeah. This was actually the one that started it. This was the sign that I pulled off and I'm like, I'm making something else on it. I don't like it on that silly sign. So here's what I love. And I tell you guys this all for all my besties, you know this. I love to make standalones. I don't want to have to hang them on the wall because there's only so many places. So I love to take things that they give us with really good graphics and make them standalones. This can now go anywhere. It could go on a kitchen counter. It could go on a um, dining room table because it's double sided. So lots of things, but I love this. This is just a black bead on the top. But did you guys like how I put the little um, thumbtack in there? Can you see the thumbtack? Yeah, to hold, hide that hole in there. So I think this is my favorite, but is it? Let's find out. So I love, love, love this. And it gives you something to do with the center of those signs, which I think are so really, 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 really beautiful. The graphics are fantastic. Just didn't like the sign itself. So that takes me to the second one. By the way, those, I think I bought those signs last year, the year before that, and maybe I bought them both years. This, I know I bought last year, set in my stash, I never got to it. And intentionally, when I bought this initially, it is from a Dollar Tree Plus, so it was $3, as you'll see in the video. Wait, hold on, let's see how I made this one. Can you say easy peasy? Okay, it's three dollars, dollar tree plus. I hate that plastic burlap ribbon that they use, so of course I'm removing that, and it already looks better. So this was a pen that I found at some point. It's been in my Easter stash, and I love it's the flamingo pen, but I love the pink, so got to pull that pen out of there. It would not come out, so I ended up taking a utility knife and just sort of slicing down the pen, and that's just breaking the fur away from the pen, so I can get it out of there. Pretty easy. And then uh, always on these, there's sort of like a hole in the middle of them because that's what they shove the pen into to hold it on top of these. All right, so separate the pen from the the pom-pom <laughs> or, the, or the bunny tail, however you want to look at it. Get that off. And now I've got to get the flamingo. And so the flamingo is sort of stitched in there, so I'm just pulling it down far enough so I can see the stitches and sort of rip the stitches um, with the knife and then that's going to come out super easy and no damage to the bunny tail but now the bunny tail hole isn't quite big enough so I find it again and I go in there with you to lean knife and I just sort of slice it up a little bit so I can get it over the metal portion of that tail right there and that works perfectly so now we're going to take some hot glue just go around the tail and um, and then put the bunny the the bunny tail on, the pink bunny tail, already looks so cute. I love this. It's so simple, and yet so cute. So I had this um, Easter ribbon, and I tried that at first. I was going to put it over the burlap and repurpose the, it. No. Um, one of the things is some of this seasonal ribbon at Dollar Tree is just cheap. So I went and got this other ribbon, also from Dollar Tree, but it was the Ofra uh, brand, and so it's a much better ribbon. It's super beautiful. It was pink with just the slightest bit of white floral on it. Perfect match. I just absolutely loved it. So using that, and I'm just doing a simple like shoelace tie. I'm not going to, nothing fancy. I wanted to keep it simple. So the reasoning for that, you guys, is there's already a pattern on this bunny, right? We're already going with this pattern of the old tin. And so putting too much on here is overkill. And so these cute little accents are going to be perfect. The the bunny tail, the nice little ribbon. And basically we have three elements going on now, right? We've got the tin, the tail, and the bow. And that's it. It doesn't need anything more. I do end up putting just a small little button on the bow. And partially that was to pull it just a little bit darker pink and to cover up that little knot in there. But watch this, because so instantaneously I pulled that pink of the tail in. Yes, love it, love it, love it, love it. So stinking simple. Can it get any easier? 
easier. This is what I would call an upscale, but I'm obsessed. So when I bought it, can you guys see the pink sparkles in there? Which just pulls this pink into this absolutely beautiful. It is so beautiful. I love this. It could go in a bedroom, in a, in a pink bedroom. I'm not going to say boy or girl because somebody will like, you know. Yeah, I know boys can like pink. Not when I was growing up. Anyway, so this like in a nursery, it's just super cute. Or if you were going to a baby shower and they were having a girl, like, oh, so cute. So, but when I bought it, I had every intention of sanding off those sparkles and taking it in a more rustic farmhouse look. I just spit at the camera. Sorry, guys. But then, because um, I was doing my stash, so I had all these bunny tails in my stash, too. So it was the ribbons, so the buttons. Everything was in my stash. And I was like, I love this. I just love this tail. It's so cute. Good either way, by the way. And so I was like, no, I just have to put this tail on this bunny. It's one of my favorite things to do is to put colored tails on the bunnies. I just, come on. Like this one back here with the yellow tail. These up here have colored tails. I love to put colored tails on bunnies. I have a really cute one coming out next week with the colored bunny tail. It's super cute. Okay, so I love this. I just think this came out adorable. I'm keeping all three of these, by the way. I rarely do that. I give away all of my, my creations, my crafts, my DIYs. What are they? Mm, I don't even know. Because DIY is a craft. See, I say a craft, but everybody does DIY, so I give up. All right. And then the final one, and I don't, I, I, they're all, I just love them all this week. But this was something I did by this year. But the rest of it is my stash, so I thought I could squeeze it in here. I hope, right? Okay, so this came from a Dollar Tree Plus, and it was $3? Mm, I don't know. Watch the video. It'll tell you. It's on there. We have an egg and we have a stand. <laughs> so see, it was $3 at a Dollar Tree Plus. And then obviously that's just one of the stands from the candle area. And I'm gonna take, this is a brush marker from the Dollar Tree. Sorry, I'm a little away there. And I'm just trying it and then like, okay, so how's this gonna work? And I don't actually show you guys me coloring the entire egg because it just would have taken too long. Um, and it's gonna be personal choice on how you do this. But I take it, take all my markers, and I go through and just color the egg up. And then um, I'm going to come back, and it's going to be all done. Look at that. But on the bottom of this, you'll see where I try the colors out. These are the markers that I use. It's the brush markers, a regular marker, and then some of the glass markers. They worked amazing on there. And they're all Dollar Tree. And so this is the Dollar Tree cement glue. It's kind of like E6000, but I buy it at Dollar Tree. See how that? That's where I tried all the colors. And just to see how porous it was going to be and blah, blah, blah. So I leave that and I dry it overnight. But in the meantime, I pull out. That's one of the doorknob things right there. And it fit. It cupped the top of the egg so perfectly. Ask me how I found that. Um, because I was thinking I would put one of the doorknobs on top of the egg, but that didn't work. So I started to paint it, by the way, and I was like, that's dumb. I need to put Mod Podge on it first so the paint will stick to it. So I put a coat of Mod Podge on. Then I go back and I paint this, and I'm using white and chestnut because they bond really well together. And, um, I mean, they blend really well together, and it's going to sort of give me that off-white color that I want that's going to match the stand. So once I have that, I'm just going to use hot glue and glue that on top of the egg. And this is where then I went and got myself a little pearl, or rather a big pearl, and glued that on. There we go, just a little hot glue around the edge of this to bond it to the top of the egg. And then the big pearl with the hole facing up, you know, so... I'm just seeing pearl on all the sides, so the, the whole of the pearl is on the bottom and on the top. And then taking one of these jot push pins that are pearls, 
I got one of those out. Oh, it was such, it was so perfect. I didn't have to trim any part of the pen or anything. It went in there and it was absolutely perfect. So I was like, all right, this was meant to be. And it was the perfect topper. And I just throw some glue on that, put that in, and there you go. This is done and I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I hope you guys like this one too. Please tell me which one is your favorite. I'll be back to say goodbye. some just some really light colors so I just this was a mistake color I had to try and wash it out it happens but if you saw the video underneath which I'm sure I said to you I was trying the colors out on the bottom of the egg because that would tell me how deep a color it was going to be and so on and so forth but it's really it came out really cool it's it's a lot green but I I love green and it started out as green so the other thing that you could do if you got this and you just didn't like the green you don't have to you could actually paint this, white it, white it out, paint the whole thing white, and then start afresh with a base color or leave your base color white. I love, love, like love, love, love this. And I put the topper on there. I mean, I wasn't sure, but in the end, I think that was a good thing to do. And this, of course, is the doorknob, the, the cabinet handles, whatever you saw it in the video. So just that part of it, which fit on there perfectly. At first... I was going to try and put one of those on, but they seem to be too big for it and I couldn't get the screw out of them. Oh, never mind. Too much, too much info. So, and I did absolutely nothing here and I purposely did not put a bow or anything or florals or anything. I just thought the simplicity of this is absolute perfection. So, which one? Did I show you how I made that? I hope I did. You know, see, here we go. This is how it goes. I did. Okay, if not, I'll cut it. Anyway, I get going and then I'm like, did, wait, did I break away? Did I break away to insert how I made a video? All right, so you gotta tell me in the comments down below which one is your favorite. And again, thank you to the Rustic Willow and our gray house for posting this. I'm gonna pull it up, show it one more time. Actually, I'll just insert it probably in my video. The Rusted Willow, our gray house. Thank you so much for hosting this. This is called The First Friday. And the theme this time was um, craft your stash, which of course I did. And I have been doing so anyway I'm dying to know which one down below please in the comments which one is your favorite is it the double-sided I don't even know what you call this miniature sign like it's almost like a miniature little sign oh my god I love it maybe that is my favorite I don't know is it the bunny this is so easy it's just disgusting but so dang cute so dang cute or is it my Easter egg my oversized Easter egg which one? All right, you guys. You have to let me know. Um, that's it. So, everybody, have a great day, a great week, and a great life. And as always, from your singing crafty crafter, happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy hunting for you at your local Dollar Tree. I'll see you next time on Bella's Bargains. Bye, besties. Thanks for watching.